card gamers! Ross Marrow here, and today we're going to be opening the brand new starter deck in the Battle Spirits card game, the Genesic Tome. So, so far on my channel, the only Battle Spirits products I've opened are stuff that's been relevant to the other content I've been doing. For example, the Battle Spirits Collaboration Boosters, and more recently, the Gundam Collaboration Boosters. This is my first opening of a main series Battle Spirits product on this channel, and the reason why I'm doing this is because this product essentially represents the very beginning of a brand new phase in Battle Spirits, known as the Rebirth Saga, and introduces a brand new mechanic known as Tensei in Japanese, or Rebirth. And because Battle Spirits is a card game that I've particularly had my eye on lately, there's even a new anime coming out this year, I thought that this would be a good time to basically introduce you guys to the Battle Spirits card game with this very first new saga, new product. So if you guys like what you see here today, do let me know in the comment section down below and I'll lead you guys deeper into the world of the Battle Spirits card game. Man, there is seriously too much card game epicness happening this month with the release of Yu-Gi-Oh! Rush Duel, the new face in the Yu-Gi-Oh! OCG, the brand new Digimon card game, as well as this new Rebirth Saga in Battle Spirits as well. Starting off, in order to play Battle Spirits, you will need more than just cards, you will also need these little blue icons known as cores, as well as this special one known as the Soul Core. Of course, you'll only need to use the official ones for official tournaments, but if you're playing with friends, you can basically just use any kinds of counters or objects as substitutes. But if you buy a starter deck, it essentially comes with a good amount for you to use. So let's put that aside for now, and here's the entire uh, paper playmat that comes with each starter deck representing all of the fields. Now, I know that most of you guys aren't familiar with Battle Spirits, so I'm not going to go into too much detail in this video. But starting off first, we have the new key uh, ace spirit or, or ace monster of this starter deck, known as the Space Time Emperor Dragon, Chrono Birth Dragon. And this guy essentially represents the brand new rebirth mechanic in the sense that he's actually a double-sided card. So, so far I think only Battle Spirits and Japanese Duel Masters have embraced the idea of double-sided cards and this is the first time Battle Spirits is getting double-sided cards as well with the Rebirth or Tensei mechanic. Essentially, uh... Uh, the, when you summon uh, these monsters or spirits, they'll essentially start off in their A side, which is this side over here. You can tell with their uh, cost being indicated on the left, just like all the usual cards, it's usually on the left. So this is essentially their base form. But once a, cer a certain condition is met, I think for Chrono Dragon, essentially, when you decrease your opponent's life, or when this, field, or when this spirit would be removed from the field due to your opponent, then you're allowed to basically flip it around to B side and essentially awaken it to its true form, which is why the basically the cost moves over from the left side to the right side, and this essentially represents a stronger version of the original monster. So this one is Chrono Birth Dragon, which is flipped over from Chrono Dragon, and you guys will see the big golden X behind the card text. That is essentially what we call an X rare, the ultra rare equivalent, or the triple rare equivalent in Battle Spirits. And you guys will notice on the card text there's this band here. This is actually the kanji for Tensei. So if you see this icon, it basically means it's a Tensei card. And on the right, this is essentially the condition for carrying out its uh, rebirth and flipping it over. So this is a very cool card right here, I gotta say. Although a very reminiscent of uh, Vanguard uh, Gear. Gear Chronicle, honestly, because the title here is actually Jiku Ryu, which is in Battle Spirits, they've translated it loosely in English to uh, Space Time Dragon, but it also makes sense as Interdimensional Dragon. Up next, we have the Wandering Grand Walker Lolo. So, those of you guys who haven't watched my previous uh, Battle Spirits videos, Grand Walkers are essentially like plane walkers in Magic, or you could also consider them like a permanent field spells or deck masters like in that one arc of Yu-Gi-Oh! They remain on the field, they are, they, are, they are very hard to get rid of and over time they basically allow you to set up and enhance your plates. Up next here we have a uh, Master Rare, the Sandra Glass. So it's kind of like a little baby dragon with a hourglass design on his chest. Pretty cute and a really cool design as well. We've got two copies of net of that. Next, we have the Clown Dragon, Gengar Dragon. So most of the 
This is essentially a red deck that's basically the archetype uh, for this starter deck here and it features mainly this uh, series of monsters known as Clown Dragons. Now, up next here we have another double-sided Tensei card. I like how when you open up the deck it essentially shows you the B side instead of the A side. Now, this is slightly different from the Chrono Birth that we saw just now because a Chrono Dragon is a spirit by itself and then it flips over to a stronger version of the spirit in the form of Chrono Birth over here. But for this one over here, which is a card called the Bookshelf Ravine, this is essentially a field spell. So originally it's a field spell, but once it essentially reaches, uh, meets its condition, you can flip it around, transforming it into a monster. The Ravine Lord with Domble. And this is a very powerful key card for this deck because both as a spirit and as a nexus over here, which is what we call field spells in the Battle Spirits card game, it essentially increases the amount of draws you get per turn. So that is a very nice key card. Now up next, uh, I'm sure you guys can see the trend already, but this is another uh, Rebirth card. So this one is also a nexus into a spirit. This one is called the New World, and it rebirths into the Elegant Dragon, Elia Ragoon, which is a rainbow attribute card. So, uh, though, okay, those of you guys who only play Yu-Gi-Oh! and uh, Vanguard might not be very familiar with the concept of colors, but those of you guys who play Duel Masters before, you'll essentially understand that, you know, each color is essentially like a different civilization or deck type, but there are rainbow cards that basically kind of are able to be played, and their effects basically fit in any kind of color deck. But mostly, although it is possible to create decks with multiple colors, most of the time uh, you get the most synergy by combining cards of the same color. Here we have God Seeker Lolodra. So there are many God Seeker monster uh, spirits in the Battle Spirits card game, and what they do is essentially search out your gods, which are your Planeswalkers slash Grand Walkers, like the Lolo that we saw earlier over there. So here we've got two copy, uh, three copies of Lolo Draw, that's the Max, just like Yu-Gi-Oh! The Clown Dragon Melts Dragon, that's a really, really nice design, I gotta say, kind of reminiscent of Persona. Next we have the Clown Dragon Dovelk Dragon, so this one's a pretty beastly looking card, looks pretty defensive. I do have the effects, I can read the effects out, but I don't think you guys will get them, so I'm gonna just uh, ignore them for now. Next we have the Clown Dragon Drago Frankeri. Now this is a pretty beastly looking card as well, but I do. if you guys are more interested in Battle Spirits, I'm thinking maybe I could like even make a tutorial video on how to play, and then in future videos I could emphasize the effects more as well. Next, the Clown Dragons Poldra and Castadra, because there are two of them, I'm assuming they're kind of like siblings in this artwork. Red decks are essentially more of offensive, aggressive, increasing their BP or their attack power while also destroying the opponent's spirits. The Clown Dragon Trickster Dragon or Trickstar Dragon. The Clown Dragon Fool Joker Dragon. Now this is a pretty badass card and I love the name Fool Joker. So this bar over here says that uh, it essentially indicates that this card is a burst. So you can essentially set it like a trap in Yu-Gi-Oh onto this bur burst zone over there on the top left. And once the condition is met, you basically flip it around and activate the effect for free, mostly accordingly. So that was full Joker. Got a one, two, three. Next, oh, now we're moving on to magic cards, essentially like spells. Creation Flame, all right, this is also a burst. It also has a flash effect, which is essentially like an instant if you play magic or a quick play spell, if you, in Yu-Gi-Oh terms. Next we have Force Bright's Draw, so it has both a main and a flash effect, like a main phase effect and a quick play effect as well, depending on which one you want to use. Three of Deaths, and now we've got some white spells, uh, mainly because white is the defensive archetype, so many decks, even though they are not white, do include a bit of white magic to use in order to increase survivability and in this case we've got burst wall which is quite a famous uh, defensive white magic in the battle spirits card game but with a new a uh, very nice a very a new artwork featuring Dovelt dragon we saw earlier so it kind of makes it so that it's a bit more relevant to this deck and there is no limitation on like a well you guys noticed these cores earlier right they are all the same color there's there aren't different ones for like the six different deck colors so it doesn't matter which color cards you're playing in your deck, they all rely on the same mana source, so there are no restrictions on that. Alright, so we've got one, two burst walls, and what you guys are seeing here 
Let me see what's this one at the back. I think this is just a card, uh, the deck card list, an advertisement. And what these are are what they call checklist cards. And the reason why they're called check, uh, checklist cards is because they're essentially supposed to substitute your double-sided rebirth cards because uh, these double-sided cards, unlike Dual Masters, are supposed to be placed in your main deck so that, so if, so in order to ensure that your opponent can't tell when you draw into a double-sided card, you are expected to use an uh, opaque sleeve so that you can only see the front but not the back. However, it can be quite troublesome if you summon them and then activate its rebirth effect forcing you to flip it around, then you kind of have to take it out of the sleeve and put it back, right? Which might cause some scratches in the process, so for ease of convenience, essentially, that's what the checklist card is there for. To basically act as a substitute for the card. So for example, on the checklist, you'll basically indicate that this is Chrono Dragon, then this is what you put in your main deck with an opaque sleeve and it does have the normal Battle Spirits card back in that sense. Then this double-sided a Chrono Birth and Chrono a Chrono Dragon and Chrono Birth Dragon, you'll sleeve it in transparent sleeve so that you can flip it just like this. But you don't put it in your main deck, you actually leave it somewhere maybe in your deck case. Then once you summon your Chrono Dragon checklist card from the hand, you can basically replace it with the actual Chrono Dragon on the field and then conveniently flip it because now that it's on the field, it's fine for its back to be visible. So that's essentially how the creators try to make this new mechanic a bit more convenient to use in real life. And in a promo pack, we've got two copies of Diamond Wall featuring the main character Bashin Dan of Battle Spirit Saga Brave, the most recent anime. So that'll be all for this Genesic Tome starter deck opening. I understand that most of you guys are not familiar with Battle Spirits, but I hope that you guys who are card game fans at least enjoyed looking at this unfamiliar card game and all of its cool cards and artwork and different monster and character designs and hopefully maybe I piqued your interest in finding out more about this card game and its uh, following anime as well. I am planning to open at least the very first booster in this new Rebirth Saga known as Returner which is supposed to come out within this month but unfortunately due to the whole COVID virus situation and lockdowns here in Singapore, I'll probably only be able to get my hands on it and open it in May. But as usual, if you guys enjoyed this video, do give it a like. Let me know what you guys think about this new card game in the comment section down below. Don't forget to subscribe for more Battle Spirits content and other card game content if that interests you. And I hope to see you guys in the next Battle Spirits video.